Kenny Sabakeli has practically been unbeatable for the majority of his career. Now don't get me wrong, before we start today's video, I just want to make it clear that I was a massive Kenny Sabakeli fan and I still support him to this day. In today's video, however, I'm going to be criticizing the real reason why I believe he made a huge mistake around the year of 2014. What is that mistake? Well, stay tuned to the end of this video to find out and make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel. First of all, let's start with Kenanisa Bekele's personal best. He is an absolute goat when it comes to running and arguably the best and greatest runner from all distances for 1500 meters all the way up to the marathon. I think it's pretty hard to beat this list of personal bests which I found on the IAAF Athlete Profile Forum. 1500 meters, 332, 3000 meters, 725, you have the 5000 former world record, 1237, the 10,000 former world record, 2617, you have a rather slow half marathon and a very fast marathon down the bottom there of 20141, which was run at Berlin Marathon. Now these times are impressive, but why has Kenanita Bekele made a huge mistake in his career? Well, let's get into it. The truth is, ladies and gentlemen, is that Kenanita Bekele made a massive mistake back in 2014. This is when he started to decline big time in fitness. He had some big family issues back then and didn't really know whether he was going to run the London 2012 Olympic Games where he actually came back from a big bout of depression and even being slightly overweight from not training for around half a year. Without getting into too much detail on his personal life, those of you who have actually looked deep into it will know what I'm on about, but he went through a pretty crappy period where he didn't really train at all for 6 months and all he ate was his hotel chain food. At the time, Kenanisa was actually in charge of multiple properties and real estate, one of which was a hotel. While he stopped training, he was eating three meals a day, cooked by the professional chefs at this Ethiopian hotel, which meant that he was piling on the pounds. This to me was a downfall of Kenanisa Bekele, and it was a time when he should have retired then and there. Now this was between the years of 2011 and 2014. Kenanisa Bekele tried to have a comeback, but it's been so bad that really, people are starting to feel sorry for him. Why is he still training? Why is he still racing? When every single race is getting worse and worse, the amount of DNFs he has, the amount of DNSs he has, and the amount of injuries he has managed to rack up is probably a world record in and of itself. Like I said, I'm not taking anything away from Kenanisa Bekele, but he is still trying to run the marathon as we speak. He's still training and he refuses to retire. Is he really being delusional right now? Comment down below your opinions and I want to see what you guys think because the longer this goes on, it could possibly get worse and worse. He ran his 201.41 years ago now and hasn't managed to get close to it since, but there's theories and people speculating that he'll be at the Paris Olympics next July and the London Marathon next year. Every race I've seen him run in the last year or two has been very disappointing. It seems to me that he really is aging and although he doesn't really want to accept that, he is still trying very hard which I respect big time. Now the reason this is a huge mistake is because now Kenanisa Bekele has dug himself into a hole that, let's be real, most of us truly know he won't be able to get out of unless a miracle happens. For Kenanisa Bekele to break 20141 as he approaches the age of 42 is pretty hard to believe and genuinely makes me think that he is being delusional. The reason this is a huge mistake is because the longer this goes on, the more credibility he will lose. 
Yes, both of his world records were broken in the 5 and 10,000 meters, but that still doesn't take away the fact that he had an absolute crazy dominant era around the years of around 2001 to 2009. In this case, Kenanisa Bekele needs to be told by either his coach or family member, or even his friends and fans, that it's time to retire. The longer he goes on trying to retire on a high, the worse things are going to get, the more injuries, the more aging, and the more stress he is going to go through trying to prove everyone that he is the greatest. I think the rise of Eli Kipchoge maybe did annoy him, maybe it made him feel like he needed to prove that he was the best, and he has run a phenomenal fast time over the marathon, but I believe his best days are past him. If he continues to race over and over again into the 2024 season, then it's clear to me that I am just so right when I talk about this topic. Of course there is a slight chance Kenanisa Bekele could prove me wrong, he could run under 20141, but can I see him running under 201? No. I can't see him achieving the world record at all, and that's me just being honest, knowledgeable, and just answering honestly. The reality is, I believe Kenanisa isn't running for fun anymore. I don't think he actually enjoys the sport. The amount of pain, suffering, injuries, setbacks he's been through, it's clear to me that he is simply just trying to prove himself as still the greatest when he isn't anymore. After all of this, I hope that Kenanisa Bekele can make the right decision to finally retire as he deserves it more than anyone. He has been unstoppable over cross country, road, track, and so many distances, even indoor races. It's hard to find a single athlete, even Eli Kipchoge or Haile Gebre Selassie, can't really match Kenanisa Bekele's all-round plethora of phenomenal performances from 1500 meters up to the marathon and every distance in between. I think that it's a make or break year for Kenanisa. Obviously, I'll be covering his next few races, so if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit subscribe and click the notification bell. All we can do is wish Kenanisa the best. It is his choice to continue running at a pro level. Obviously, no one can stop him, but I can see it in his eyes. In my opinion, I don't think he's enjoying it anymore. He's just declining year upon year and refuses to accept retirement. I get it, he could go on to be a world class veteran runner, but really what's the point? He has all the money, he's had former world records, and he's been unbeatable for the best part of almost a decade. Why would he want to go and compete with 40 plus year olds when really there's nothing to gain from that? I believe he should just retire, enjoy time with his family, and maybe put his competitive energy into growing his businesses even more. He's already a multi-millionaire in Ethiopia, but maybe he could expand worldwide and invest more and more money, using the same mindset. When it comes to making money in competition, you actually can be 90 years old, 100 years old, because the reality is it's not down to your physical fitness or your health. Making money is totally different, whereas running and competing against 20 year old athletes who are much fitter than you it is about age, it is about fitness, and it is about health. In this case, Bekele seems to be delusional, and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys in this video. The longer this goes on, the worse it is going to get, and I really just hope he retires soon, because he's making himself look a bit silly with every race that he runs. He's being beaten by very, very bad runners, and he's had a similar situation to Mo Farah, except his downfall's been even worse than Mo Farah's. Mo Farah got to the point where he was beaten by semi-pro 20-year-old club runners, and at least Kenanisa hasn't got to that point yet, but he is just going so far. Mo Farah knew when to retire, but Kenanisa doesn't seem to know when. He just wants to keep, keep going, as if he believes within himself that he has more to offer. Maybe I'll be proved wrong, and I accept that if I am proved wrong, then maybe I'll do a giveaway of a bunch of Garmin's, a bunch of running shoes, and totaling a thousand pounds worth of giveaways, because I really think it's highly unlikely. 
but you can hold me against that. Record that right now and hold my word to it because I truly believe that Kenanisa is now retiring in the worst way possible where every race will get slower and slower until he has an injury and is forced to stop running completely. Thank you for watching today's video, drop a like if you agree, drop a dislike if you do not, comment down below your opinions and make sure you subscribe, we have some big races coming up that I'll be covering here on this channel, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, peace out.